What's up everybody, back with another video. Today I want to talk about prices. You know, everything is getting more and more expensive and uh, yeah, diecast is no exception. So I thought in this video I will show you some of my stuff and I will tell you what I paid for and um, then I will tell you my opinion. Uh, what is a fair price, what is maybe a little bit too expensive and then I am very, very interested in your opinion. Um, for all of you that don't know, I am living in Europe, in southern Germany and all of the prices that I will tell you about are the prices here in my area. So um, yeah, I want to know what does Hot Wheels and Matchbox and maybe Mini GT cars, what do they cost in your area? Feel free to comment. So um, yeah, I would say uh, let's get started. I already mentioned it. I cannot cover all of the diecast brands, um, so yeah, I focus on the stuff that I mostly collect, which is Hot Wheels, Matchbox and Mini GT. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I thought, first of all, uh, we start with the cheapest stuff. And uh, by the way, um, it's uh, October 2023 now, so... <laughs> If you are watching this uh, video 10 years from now or maybe later, this might be interesting. So, uh, anyways, let's get started with this guy here. Um, this is the cheapest um, stuff um, from Matchbox that you can get in my area. These are main lines from Matchbox in, uh, or this is the power grab version. You can see this is the, this little cardboard box and these do cost um, I think one euro and 29 cent at a store called Action. Um, you know, um, from time to time they get some uh, cases, some Matchbox cases and then, uh, yeah. Then you can try to grab some of them, which is, um, yeah, really a fair price. One euro 29 cents. So, these are Matchbox so mainlands as a power grab. Then, we do have... Um, the main lines as uh, or in a blister and um, the cheapest that you can get uh, as far as I know at the moment um, do cost one euro and a 50 cent at a store called uh, TD um, yeah there you can get the blister version so these are matchbox main lines then we got Hot Wheels main lines and um, these um, Hot Wheels do cost, I think, um, at TD also one euro and fifty cent, and at Aldi Süd you can get them for, uh, I think, one euro and fifty nine cents. So um, just a little bit more expensive. Um, by the way, uh, last year, so um, I would say in fall or till fall twenty twenty two. Matchbox and Hot Wheels did cost one euro at um, TD, but now these days are gone, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. The thing is, um, I think one euro fifty cents, it's still a reasonable price. One euro and twenty nine cents is even better. And I think it's, it's really, really good. And, um, you know, as far as I know, I think uh, maybe in uh, I think in France uh, these uh, mainlands to cost I think at least two euros and some stores three euros, which is quite expensive in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I would uh, consider stop collecting if these uh, mainlands would cost three euros. I think so. Um, yeah, I think still a reasonable price for mainlands. Um, what else do we got? Um, we get these uh, five packs right here, as you can see, um, Hot Wheels and Matchbox five packs. Um, I think the, I would say the, the average price of these uh, five packs in stores is 10 euros sometimes, or some stores charge you 12 euros, and sometimes you get them for eight or nine euros. I normally do wait um, till they are on sale. Sometimes Aldi Süd um, got them and you can grab them for 
five euros. Um, that's what I did this year, and yeah, that's a really cool price. Five euros for such a five pack, Matchbox five pack, is a really, really good price. So, now I would say, um, let's take a look at something different. So, um, you know, there are different, uh, let's say, different levels of uh, cars, and... Uh, you get the main lines and you get these sets like Forza or um, another example is or are the neon speeders. So um, the thing is basically these are just mainline cars with a little bit more deco. But um, yeah, they were quite expensive and um, you know sometimes. You are so excited that a store has um, such a set that you buy the whole set and you don't really think about the price. That's what I did when I saw the Forza set. I bought the whole set and um, yeah, I think um, one of these was 5 euros and 50 cent or maybe 5 euros, which is in my opinion a lot of money. Um, and uh, same thing here with these neon speeders. I'm not really sure uh, if I would buy something like that in the future. So basically, you you just pay a lot of more money um, just for just for the deco or the the, the card art. Let's say let's say like this or the yeah a little bit more deco on the car. So let's take a look at um, let's take a quick look at um, this uh, Forza version of the Bugatti. Just a little comparison. So um, here on the, that you can see what I mean. Here on the, hope you can see it. Here on the left side we got the, yeah, the normal mainline version. I think the blue, <coughs> sorry, the blue Bugatti EB110 was the first version, or the blue version was the first version of the Bugatti EB110. Uh, yeah, I think um, I paid one euro when it came out and. Um, now I got this one, this is the Forza version as you can see um, and I paid 4 euros and 50 cents or 5 euros. So basically it's, it's the same, it's just the same car, same mainline car, just a little bit more deco as you can see we get the Forza logo on the hood and here on the side and but you know it's not a premium car, it's, um, it's got a metal base um, and uh, plastic tires so yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think that I uh, will buy such a set once again. I think it's it's a little bit overpriced in my opinion. I think, I don't know, 3 euros would be fair enough for just a little bit more deco in my opinion. And by the way, this is the, um, the Porsche from the Forza set. So I also paid, uh, I don't know, 4 euros 50 for this guy. And um, yeah, I wanted to open <laughs> up one of them and uh, yeah, I was kind of disappointed as you can see the Porsche logo on the hood isn't centered. So it um, yeah, doesn't look too good this guy. So let's put um, these to the side and um, yeah, what else do we got? We got um, yeah, Matchbox moving parts. Um, I think you can get them for four euros with this, uh, as you can see, weird packaging. Um, sometimes they are kind of cool. Um, sometimes the moving parts aren't that good. Sometimes they are made of plastic and the color doesn't match the rest of the car and so on and so forth. But I think, um, let's say four euros, four euros fifties, I think it's a, it's a fair price for these because you know you get a moving part um, yeah uh, I wouldn't need this weird packaging but anyways um, yeah I think that is okay in my opinion so let's put this guy to the side then as you can see sometimes I buy these um, Matchbox monster trucks here is another one that was uh, <laughs> kind of hard to find the Barbie monster truck. This is stuff that I keep in the packaging <coughs> as, I'm, as I'm running out of space um, anyways. So um, 
there's kind of a yeah let's say a wide range of prices if you are lucky you can get them for i think five euros at uh, td but some stores um, do charge you eight or maybe i think i had to pay 10 euros for this guy um, because I only found it in a store um, yeah, that um, has quite um, high prices but I wanted to have the Barbie monster truck so bad and I couldn't find it so um, yeah but um, I think the, the average price is six or seven years and I think it's it's kind of okay you get uh, a lot of die cast so this in my opinion is uh, still fair so let's put this guy to the side um, yeah what else do we got we got Hot Wheels premium cars so um, what is that for all of you that don't know um, <clears throat> I can show you one of the premium cars what is the difference normally you get a metal base and rubber tires that is the main difference sometimes you get a little bit more uh, deco and uh, yeah that's basically it and uh, yeah. the quality sometimes or they do feel a little bit better than the main line so um, this one also was kind of hard to get um, I bought this one I think at uh, Smith Toys and I paid 10 euros which is normally the, the cheapest price here in uh, Germany for these uh, premium cars. Some stores um, I think um, they do charge right now 12 euros maybe 13 euros for these and uh, yeah I think 10 euros is a lot of money you don't get them cheaper here but um, I think in the US you do pay I don't know six dollars for a premium car and I think that's that would be a really really cool price six or seven euros but anyways sometimes you know I can't resist and uh, then I pay 10 euros for such a premium car so we go on what else do we got with team transport uh, this is a really really cool set in my opinion also really hard to find I was lucky and uh, I did find it um, two times so um, I could open one up and keep one in the package so um, these team transport do cost 20 euros here in Germany normally you know some stores maybe charge you 22 euros uh, yeah I, I don't buy them too often because you know normally um, you get this hauler it's um, most of the time it's the same and uh, normally you want you just want a car so basically you pay yeah you can say 20 euros for um, a special car or a special deco on a car but um, in this case I yeah I was willing to pay 20 euros because this is such a cool set I love how they did the hauler and this uh, Alfa Romeo is so cool that I yeah definitely wanted to have this set um, yeah I think in the US um, I don't know what do they cost 15 dollars or something you can write that in the comments down below so what else do we got we do have these um, uh, these diorama sets um, I think the, the normal retail price is 40 euros which is uh, you know reasonable because you get four cars 10 euros per car that's 40 euros but uh, here the thing also is sometimes you know you do not like all of the cars you don't want the hauler and um, then it's a lot of money but um, I think um, I don't know if they got them um, exclusive here in Germany but you can get these um, at Smith Toys and normally um, they start at 30 euros and if it's uh, you know kind of a pack warmer uh, sometimes you can get them a little uh, cheaper but I think 30 euros for a set that you really like, like 
like maybe the BMW set or the Nissan set or whatever you like. I think 30 euros is kind of okay considering, as I already mentioned, that you normally pay uh, 10 euros for one premium car. So you get four premium cars for uh, 30 euros. So the last thing I want to talk about is Mini GT. If you are a subscriber of this channel, you know that I'm a huge Mini GT fan and uh, yeah, one of the brands that I do collect. So this is one of the Mini GTs, uh, as you can see, got the Audi A6 Avant. And um, this is also a premium diecast. If you are not familiar with Mini GT, they also do um, have uh, a metal base, rubber tires, and um, yeah, they do have a lot of more details. <coughs> sorry, than uh, Hot Wheels premium cars do. So as you can see, you get some tread on the tires, and I mean, look at the rims, how um, precise they are. These are not generic rims that you can find on every car. These are specially made for these Audis um, and they do look uh, fantastic in my opinion. You get uh, lensed uh, taillights, um, a lot of details as you can see, uh, lensed headlights and uh, pretty nice interior. And uh, yeah, they also do roll very well, which is not, um, yeah, which is a little bit, let's say, unusual for um, such a premium diecast car you just put on display. And these are really, really great models, in my opinion. Um, yeah, uh, but I wanted to talk about the price. When I started collecting these, um, I think uh, some years ago, I think three years ago or something, um, you could get um, them for 10 euros. Now you get the cheapest Mini GTs. I think for 12, 13 euros, um, which is still, in my opinion, a very, very good deal considering, as I already mentioned, that these Hot Wheels um, premium cars do cost uh, 10 euros. So, but here you get a lot of more details. Some of these uh, Mini GTs are a little bit more expensive, like these uh, Land Rovers, uh, for example. As you can see, sometimes uh, um, I buy uh, two of them and so that I can one can take one out of the packaging and put it on display and keep the other guy um, sealed because yeah you know uh, I really like them uh, normally these are a little bit more expensive so um, yeah I guess you pay 18 or let's say 15 to 20 euros depends on the store for um, these a um, little bit um, or these uh, models with more details like this Land Rover Defender and it's a little bit bigger you know you got the spare tire and the whole roof rack and some stuff on the roof which is uh, kind of cool and uh, yeah then you get uh, you know some yeah, let's see uh, special editions like this one and yeah that can I don't know cost maybe 25 euros or something so um, yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's all I have to say. And um, yeah, I already mentioned it. I'm really, really interested in uh, your opinion. You can tell me what um, you pay for your diecast in your region, your country. Um, yeah, I would um, yeah be very interested in your comments. So do that. Write it in the comments down below. That's it for today. I say... Thank you for watching, happy hunting and see you next time, bye.